Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I are on a journey to become debt-free using a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing method because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. Okay, so today's video is gonna be a shorter video, but I wanna show you my system for when I do online shopping because I feel like cash stuffing and online shopping, people think you can't do both and you definitely can, trust me, I do plenty of online shopping. I am a busy mom, I don't have time to go to stores, I don't wanna lug my kids into all the stores and so I do a lot of online shopping. Um, I do also spend cash when I go in the store, but when it comes to online shopping, I do it. So I feel like it's the one thing that's maybe intimidating when it comes to cash stuffing. And so I'm going to show you my system. So hopefully it will put you at ease and just give you a path that you can follow to be able to do the same thing and just really rock cash stuffing because it truly is one of the biggest reasons that my husband and I have paid off so much debt and been able to save money to pay off debt is the cash stuffing system. So this is my A5 binder, and I will say all of these pages that I have in here are digital downloads on my website. I will link them in the description. Um, and I've been getting a lot of questions about the A5 size. And so this amazing woman messaged me on Instagram and told me that with the digital download that I have on my website, all you have to do is purchase A5 paper and when you go put the print paper in your printer and then when you go to print it just select a5 and it will literally print like this so the formatting is slightly off there's a little bit more space on like the top and bottom of the page when you do it that way but it still prints off beautifully so that's what i did i just ordered a5 paper off of amazon which i can also link in the description and yeah it just worked out perfectly so i'm really excited about this so if you have my digital download and you want the a5 um, I will also be, I'm thinking about having this like pre-printed so people can just like purchase the binders and not have to deal with it. But, um, if you're someone who purchased my digital download and you want to do a five, that's how you do it. So I wish I could remember who told me that off the top of my head, but, um, she is like an angel to me. So anyway, I'm going to show you my method for online spending and how I keep track of things. And so I have an app on my phone where it will, it's called the Every Dollar app. It's through Dave Ramsey and I absolutely love it. Um, and basically my bank account, my husband and I have a joint bank account and it is connected to the app. So anytime we swipe our card, that transaction will show up in the app. And so you create your budget in the app. And then when the transaction comes through, you can categorize it for which category it belongs to. And so when you do that, it will tell you how much you've spent and how much you have remaining. And so as I go through and categorize those once a week, I also write down on here if I um, did online shopping with something that is a category for my cash stuffing. So I'm going to kind of just work through these and show you what my method is for it. So um, first thing on here, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to hold it up for you. So the first thing on there is kitty food. And so that category is pet care, which is in our high priority sinking fund binder. So I'm gonna go find pet care. All right, and in pet care, I have $30. And so I would have 13 left over. And these ones are from my $1 savings challenge. And I keep talking about condensing them. And this is the perfect way to do that is to, um, like switch out for your online spending stuff. So I will be able to deposit a lot of those ones back into the bank and condense them down. So pet care, I have, um, I spent 17 and I had 30. So I'm going to count out three and that will go back in my envelope. And then 17, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 is going to go back into the bank. I'm just going to double check that here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. We'll go back into the bank. And then I do have this little check mark here. So once I've taken that cash, I'm just going to put a check mark there. Okay, so then gifts is my next one. And gifts, let's just see. I don't have anything else in pet care. So 
gifts is in my low priority sinking funds. So I spent $27 on her gift. Like still trying to get used to where all my envelopes are since I kind of changed up my system a little bit at the beginning of the year. So gifts has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So I'm gonna take 20 out. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 is what's gonna be left in there. So then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that's 27 going back to the bank. All right, so speaking of subscriptions, oh my gosh, so things that like sneak up on you. Um, so Amazon Kids, our, two of our kids have tablets and Amazon Kids, this took my husband and I like 10 minutes to figure out. Um, we got charged $6 for like Kids Plus or something. Um, and I suppose it's been about a year, so that makes sense. But anyway, so I, um, since I cash stuff my membership envelope, I decided obviously we're gonna just put that back in there. Um, memberships, so six dollars. And we have a 10 in here, which is perfect. So we'll put the 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six will go back to the bank and one, two, three, and four will go back in the envelope. And this envelope is like really full because of all those ones. And so I think what I'm gonna do One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to take this ten so that gifts isn't so bulky. We might need to do a bill swap here eventually, too. We'll see. All right. So then my husband apparently then mode my brother-in-law <laughs> for beer and so we're gonna take that out of drinks which is in my wallet so we'll grab that out of here and this had 50 so we'll do 21 to three, four, and five back into my wallet. And then 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 back to the bank. All right, so hockey. <laughs> oh, hockey. All right, so my son has a tournament coming up and they're selling these like airbrush hats at the tournament and he really doesn't need another hat, but it's kind of one of those like things that you just do. You get something at every tournament and so freaking hat was $24, which is so obnoxious. So we're just going to put a dollar back into, actually, let's see, you know what, 20, oh wait, 
I'm just gonna take a dollar out of my to the bank pile. Let's put that back in here and then the 25 will be going back to the bank. In case you're wondering why my hockey envelope is, I feel like I stuff so much into it and it's always so sparse. 100, 200, 250, 251 is what's gonna go back into hockey. All right, and then Starbucks, but you can guess what that one is for. Um, so my daughter wanted Starbucks at Target and I said yes. So it wasn't actually $5. I think I was rounding up, but it's crazy. I get her like a tall steamer with two pumps of vanilla and it's like almost it's like a little over four dollars all right so next is our grocery and these are our that's same category but it's the last two so this is the perfect example lens and byerly is the small grocery store that's right by our house so if we just need a couple things we'll run there milk and eggs we have a really nice gas station chain where i live um and so their milk and eggs is always less expensive than like Target or a grocery store. So we usually get that stuff from there. So groceries is in our high priority sinking funds. And it looks like, oh my gosh, 20 exactly. So we will just take out 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, and 48. So we'll take out that 20, which leaves us. 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, okay. And that was just like last week that we did that. So sometimes my dates are a little out of order just because like categorizing things on my app, if I don't know what they are, I'll skip over them and like go to the next thing. And then I'll come back to the things that I have to like figure out. But so now we have both of those. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just going to add all this up and make sure that it matches that number. So we have All right, and so we have a 50, which is nice to be condensed into the $1 savings challenge. Okay, so Total, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. I grab my calculator so that I don't lose count here. So what did I say that was, 90? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33. All right, so 123, oh, 124. There was a $1 bill that was hiding over there. Okay, so 124. So 124. All right. So that is perfect. So this I will take back to the bank and deposit and this I'm gonna put back into my $1 savings challenge. I don't have a tracker for this because tracking every dollar would be like insanity. So I'm just saving them up for fun to see how fast they accumulate. But um, $54 in that so far isn't too bad at all. All right, so that is my process for how I do my online spending and take money out of my binders to deposit back into the bank when we do online spending from our um, cash envelope categories. So hopefully this video helps with 
your process and makes it a little bit easier and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching today if you like this kind of content go ahead and subscribe and like this video let me know in the comments what kind of videos you'd like to see as far as questions you have with cash stuffing or budgeting and i will see you in my next video